Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making some delicious healthy pecan pie bars. This makes for a great healthy dessert recipe for the holidays, but honestly anytime. This is like my famous tried and true pecan pie bar recipe that is so good. You're not gonna know it's healthy. I'm kind of famous for them and guys, it tastes like the real deal without any of the bad stuff in it. So let's go ahead and jump in. So to make these pecan pie bars, we're gonna start off by making the crust. I'm using some almond flour as well as some maple syrup for a touch of sweetness. And to that, I am adding some melted coconut oil. This will come together a lot easier if you use the melted version. A little bit of vanilla for flavor. And then I'm adding in some collagen to boost the nutritional value of these pecan pie bars. This adds protein, it has amino acids, and it's really easy to add into recipes. It doesn't change the texture, it doesn't add any flavor, so I'm going to be adding in four scoops of this Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides into the shortbread crust. And then once you've had all of your dry ingredients, just go ahead and mix this up until everything is nice and combined. And this is gonna make a really delicious crust for our healthy pecan pie bars. Once that is all mixed through, just go ahead and take a square baking dish. I did an eight by eight pan and add your crust base to it. Make sure to line it with either parchment paper or grease it well. And then I am pushing down the crust. It will be a bit crumbly, so you're gonna push it down like I am here and do so so that all the corners and everything is pushed down together. We're then gonna be baking this separately first for about 12 minutes at 350 degrees. And then while that is baking in our oven, we can go ahead and make our caramel mixture. So I'm using a combo of coconut sugar, some maple syrup, and then some coconut oil. And this is gonna make a really easy and delicious caramel sauce for our pecan pie bars. And then just stir that up on medium heat until it bubbles. And then once it bubbles, just go ahead and set a timer for two minutes. You don't wanna do it longer than two minutes because then it can burn and you'll be left with a burnt sugar mixture. Once it's off the heat, I'm adding in our vanilla and our arrowroot mix. And you're gonna stir that up until it's combined. So then we're gonna add our pecans. I'm just using some chopped pecans here. And you're gonna fold that into the caramel mixture, making sure everything is nice and coated. Once that is all nice and coated and all of your chopped pecans are covered in the caramel mixture, we're gonna pour that onto our pre-baked crust. And as you can see guys, it's gonna be so delicious. We have the pecans coated in the caramel. You're gonna spread that over our crust in a nice even layer. This is such a great thing to bake for the holidays. There's so much flavor and with the collagen in the crust, it really boosts the protein and the nutrition of these bars. So spread it out in an even layer and then we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Make sure to allow it to cool for a full hour, either in the fridge or on your stove at room temperature. And that way the caramel really solidifies and you get this wonderfully chewy pecan pie type texture. Then you can go ahead and slice up your bars. You can make them bite size, you can make them full size. Either way, they are so delicious. I store mine at room temperature for 48 hours or freeze them if you're not gonna be eating all of them within 48 hours. Freezing really Really helps to keep these healthy pecan pie bars nice and fresh. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know any recipe requests you have down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.